This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. This gentleman in this print outfit is John Cullum. <laughs> yes. And, and I... am Emily Frankel. I am, am John's I. wife. And we have a good little subject for you today. What we're going to do is ask John to turn back the clock and see what phase of his life, what project he was working on, what moment he'd like to revisit. What do you say, John? Well, I'd like to go back when I was uh, 26. Oh, okay. Because I was young, vital, and uh, fresh to New York. And it was exciting and very much uh, a fun time. Uh, it was followed by a, a, a tragedy, but uh, uh, I recovered from that. The tragedy was the death of his mother That's right. that made him go back home again, but he came back to New York. That's right. And uh, that was a, a very good time. And I'd like to go, if I could, I, I would go back to before you took the tour and ended up in Tulane, and uh, I would uh, change change what happened. I would call you and say, you have to come home immediately, Emily, before you go on any kind of rides with... Uh, uh, oh, you're talking about an automobile yeah, ride. Before I, I went, I, I had an, an automobile accident at mm, Purdue University that? where I was performing, opening their series. And it was a bad accident and it fractured my back. And everything from that has compressed my life quite a bit. Right. And I, I would go back and try to change that. Now, what would you like to go back to? Oh, I'd like to know you when you were a kid. When I was a kid? Yeah. I'd like to know the very first show you ever were in. I'd like to go back and see it. Well, uh, I had trouble with the director in the very first show I did, which was an Easter show, and uh, I played a tree. And uh, the teacher said, well... I think we better move that tree back in the back because he's overacting. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my first experience with a, a director. <laughs> and I, th I don't think I ever recovered from that. You've recovered it, but you're mean to directors. You treat them nicely, but you <clears throat> get very annoyed with directors. Well, can you blame them? No, Putting I, me in the back row because I... You I'm, like to direct yourself. <clears throat> and I think that many, many actors resent often what the director is looking for, and it isn't what they want to do. Right. Well, that's true. Uh, uh, and that's not a good trait. Go back to the day you moved in here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, Can't tell too much because it'll be a long story, so a medium. Well, uh, I had your address, and I went to a party, and uh, I, you were not at the party because it was a party uh, of a bunch of people that, from your dance company, and I thought you might be there. Well, uh, I was staying on the same street, uh, but uh, further um, uh, west. West. And uh, I walked by this uh, apartment, and I looked up, and, and, and I saw the address. I said, that's where Emily Franco lives. And I started whistling Chucky Jack. And I heard it. And you were on, up on the fifth floor. Yep. And uh, I kept on walking. And then I heard this pitter-patter of feet behind me, and there was this red-headed, good-looking woman tracing behind me. She grabbed me and drug me back and uh, took me upstairs. Where Naturally, I carried him, of course, and I drug him, right? <laughs> drug as in dragged. 
<laughs> John, I love this story. And if it was happening again, I'd love it again. And I'd do the same thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you for being here. And we... Now that you know our story, will you come back and see us next week? Yeah. Well, okay. Then My is... sentiments, exactly. This is AIR. See you next week. <laughs>